digital campaigns officer for the animal rights organization PETA. Uh, Chelsea, welcome to you. Just, I, I always get this wrong. Is it PETA or PETA and what does the acronym mean? Hi, Colin. Well, firstly, thanks so much for having me on. Um, it's PETA and it stands for People for the Ethical Treatment, Treatment of Animals. OK. Uh, Chelsea, I've got a couple of cats. I would describe myself as an animal lover. Um, it, it, but it strikes me as disproportionate if we're entering the realms of discussing a, a prison sentence of up to four years for somebody who has, yes, uh, well, I, I won't say yes because there are only allegations at this stage, but people will have seen the video and many people have been upset by it. But when you get into the realms of lengthy prison sentence, it feels, it will feel disproportionate to some people in a world where, you know, muggers go free and people who commit very serious acts of violence against other human beings don't go to prison. Um, well, here in the UK, it's actually up to five years um, that you can get a prison sentence for. And really, Colin, um, the way you should look at it is, I guess, is that if it's wrong to do that to a child or a, a baby or a dog or a cow, then it's definitely wrong to do it to a cat as well. Um, yeah. And these Kelsey, kind of do you see, do you see no, is there no, just from, from Peter's point of view, is there no moral distinction in the eyes of the law between inflicting uh, injuries uh, on, a, on a child uh, compared to an animal, a what we would call a domestic pet? Uh, it would be speciest um, to believe this distinction. Um, all animals, humans, babies, um, dogs, cats are equal, and so they should be treated so okay. in the eyes of uh, the le law. Let's, let's just tease this one out if we can. So le let's, let's, it's, it's a thought experiment. Let's try it. Uh, we've got a situation where my, a, a toddler uh, is, is doing something that puts them at danger. Meanwhile, my dog is doing something that puts it at danger. Uh, I ought to prioritise neither, according to your logic. Um, well, in, in a you know, perfect scenario, you would prioritise both, and hopefully Colin, this would never happen. <laughs> <That's> no, <laughs> no <laughs> we, we need to get into this, don't we? Because it's important. It's important. You, you've, got to, you've got to make a choice. Are you going to save the baby or the dog? Really, Colin, I think we're missing the point of um, speciesism and, and veganism as well. And the point really isn't that you should value one life over the other. The point is that you should, you know, see animals as being able to live free from abuse and exploitation. So really, you know, it isn't a question of who you would save. It's a question of letting animals live free from this kind of abuse that Kurt Zuma has inflicted upon his two cats. Well, al um, allegedly, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be a stickler. Chelsea, I'm going to be a stickler and, and throw in the word allegedly because... Uh, I know things are happening and the club said things and the sponsors have said things, but he's not, there's been no process yet that, that's, that's turned an allegation into something more than an allegation at this stage.